So welcome back to another um, in the uh, in the series here of my built models. Um, if you watched the uh, the first video, you would have seen a bit of an intro, but I'm going to throw this intro onto every video so you guys know what you're looking at. And basically, I'm going to be going over all most of these models behind me. I completed before I had the YouTube channel started, so I'm going to be going through these uh, bit by bit, quick little five minute videos, uh, so you guys can take a look uh, at the videos I've built. I'll talk about the model, uh, what I uh, some of the issues I had building it, how I I liked or did not like that kit, and then some of the aftermarket if there is any type of resin or, or, or uh, aftermarket decals I used on the kit and then at the very end I'll throw up some pictures of the completed model so you guys can get a good view of what all these look like and what I went into because there has been some interest I've heard from you guys that you do want to see some more of these uh, and not all of them are going to have full up build logs so uh, you know, I can't do product reviews. I can't do anything on these ones that are built. So those are going to be included in these videos. So any of this series and this playlist, that's what it's going to be. So please don't come in here thinking you're going to get a full build log. Um, but uh, so yeah, stay tuned. I will eventually have all of these videos done and I'll have them all released. So uh, stay tuned. Um, and uh, as always, my name is Sean. And this is Sean's Aviation. And just before we get into the video, um, something I should have been doing a lot more up till now, and that is just asking you guys out there, if you enjoy what you're looking at, if you are if you like what I'm doing, go down below, uh, click on the, the like page, subscribe to my, my channel, and uh, by all means, please click on that little notification bell. If uh, that way you guys get, uh, uh, get alerted when I do get more new content up. I usually try to do the what's on my desk uh, monthly update beginning of the month. And I usually try to get a video or a series of videos released um, by the 15th, the middle of the month. So whether that's going to be a uh, tips and tricks video or an aviation history video or my time lapse videos of the previous model builds that I've got done or uh, an air show video or, you know, um, some of my new product review videos I'll be doing. So I'm going to try to get something posted uh, by the middle of the month. So uh, please, if you're enjoying this, subscribe, like and click that notification bell. Let's move on to the video. The next uh, Spitfire kit here we'll talk about is the, um, I believe it's an Academy uh, Spitfire Mark 14. Uh, it's the only Griffin engine Spitfire I have, and it's a bit of an interesting display because I have it mounted on two Spitfires on the same base. So you'll see the other, the Mark 16 Spitfire uh, from the other video, you'll see attached to it. So it's all on the same base. It uh, kind of looks like the two of them are flying in formation. This is the one I'm gonna focus on. Um, it is, like I said, the um, Academy <sighs> Spitfire Mark uh, 16. Um, it is one of those kits where uh, it's a slightly older molding. It is missing some of the, the finer details in the cockpit, a bit clunky in some places, um, but it uh, looks great um, on the shelf. It's got the five bladed spit, uh, sorry, prop that most of the Mark 16s and the Griffin powered spits have. Uh, you can see the large cowling extensions on the top there. Um, it's kind of bouncy with the thing. So you can see the big bumps on the upper cowling where the uh, Griffin engine was fit into the smaller cowling. It's got the larger intakes with the radiators underneath. I also included a slipper tank on this one. Not something you see on the, on the Spitfires every all the time, but it looks really cool when you do it up. Um, when you do it up on the aircraft. Uh, so the, the uh, decals I used on this uh, were also from that watermark sheet. Uh, the same one you would have seen from the Edward Mark 9 Spitfire, if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, so as I was saying, I used the um, um, watermark decals, uh, the same set of decals that I used on the um, Academy, uh, sorry, the um, uh, Edward Spitfire Mark 9 that was done up. I, I used those same set of decals on it. Same company, same sheet, I just used a different set. Uh, so these ones are from uh, Wing Commander Jeff Northcolt who was the uh, commander of 126th wing in uh, Germany in May of 1945 when the war ended. So this was his personal aircraft. So he had the name Jeff written on the side as his, his personal um, uh, squadron codes. Um, other than that, uh, because of the way the roundels uh, had a limited number of roundels in the sheet, I used the roundels out of the Academy kit. And you can see they look kind of wonky. The colors aren't quite right and there's some weird um, printing issues with it. But uh, other than that, 
Um, it turned out okay. Uh, again, for a th as I do three foot models, this one looked uh, really nice. It does, you know, on the shelf again, especially with this two aircraft display. Uh, it looks kind of cool. They're both sort of in a different, you know, it looks like one's banking away from the other, so it looks pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it uh, very not a lot of uh, of the Griffin powered uh, Spitfire models out there, so it is kind of cool when you do get a model of one, and it definitely rounds out my Spitfire shelf. So that is the uh, Academy 148 scale Spitfire Mark 14. watching guys and as always if you are interested in any of the content you see you can access my website at www.shawns-aviation.com uh, you can see all the uh, latest pictures of aircraft and museums and the build logs of all of my current models and past models on that site and if you're interested in any of this content uh, please click the subscribe button here on uh, YouTube to follow more thank you very much and see you guys next time